welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining. If you are not subscribed to my channel or have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and subscribe down below. In my channel, I do a lot of product reviews on various products pertaining to beauty and my experience that I have with them. So let's go ahead and get started. Review on three lotions that I currently have been using. Um, and they're on lotions. If you're anything like me, when you put on lotion, you want convenience, you want the moisture that you need, and you want to know that you can do it within maybe a time frame that you're already doing stuff. Um, if you're anything like me, time is precious. So for that, I will be doing a review on three in shower lotions that I currently have been using for the past few months. And I'm going to give my honest review on them. So if you want to hear the review and hear about these products, keep watching. Three products. So Jergens, Corel, hopefully that's the way you say it, and Nivea. All right, so let me start with the one that I absolutely just love because one, it's quick, it gives me the moisture I need, but I'm gonna tell you a con that I did not like about this lotion, but I still like it. So the first one I'm gonna talk about is Jergens. So here it is, this is the Jergens Wet Skin Moisturizer. And the last one that I got it in was in almond oil. It was almond oil. This one is, I recently just bought this at my local Target. So all, let me just put this out here. All these um, products I bought at Target. So I'll kind of roughly give you what the price is so that you can have just a, a, a fair line instead of me buying it at different stores. All right, so Jergens, love this one. Let me tell you why. One, it's convenient. All I got to do is put it on right after I get done showering and then walk out, dry off, and go on my way. The one thing I don't like about this product, and I'm going to be very honest with you all, is that it is kind of greasy. And somebody kind of warned me about that, but I wanted to try it out for myself. And it was greasy, which I did not like. But it does moisturize my skin. I could put this lotion on right after I get out of the shower and I don't have to do anything else after that. That's why I love this one here. This is my favorite, my top one. All right. The second one is probably, I, I don't want to say it's my second best one, but I used this one for quite some time before I started using Jergens and the Nivea, and that is the Corel the hydrate 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 therapy wet skin moisturizer so the one thing i so one i like this one it was a very thin coating um but there was times where i didn't feel like my skin had moisture i don't know if that makes sense but anyways let me tell you the con about this one one i did not like how you had to the application piece of this product so the way that you put this on is that when you get out the shower you need to dry yourself first so your skin can't be really wet it could be semi wet but you need to at least take off any excessive water um, after you shower then you put this baby on that bothered me. That's too many steps. I don't know. This is just me, but for me, that's too many steps. And just to let you know, I don't like putting on lotion. So the reason why I bought these is because it was to help my problem that I had. And that was maximizing my time and using the time that I'm in the shower when I saw these products were available. So um, that was the only thing. I had to literally dry myself off and then put the lotion on which I was just like, oh, this is too much. Like, I don't like the process. But it did moisturize my skin semi. So if you have dry skin, I probably would not recommend this one. I probably would recommend uh, the Jergens, actually, if you have super dry skin, because I felt like the Jergens really moisturize my skin, and I don't really have dry skin. So that was the only thing that I didn't like about it, but I used it for quite some time because it did give me the little moisture that I needed. 
but not as much moisture as the Jergens did. So I'm not gonna say this is my second best, but it did really good. Oh, just to let you know, this one is $10.99 at Target. And normally, the past few times that I've bought this product, it has had a $2 coupon on it on the actual bottle. And you can use it when you go to the register. And also, I would recommend if you are a Target lover like myself, get the Target cartwheel, scan your products because sometimes they have percentage off. And also, if you buy a certain amount of beauty products like lotion, skincare type stuff, sometimes you can get a gift card. It's a $5 gift card. Normally, it's about $5. So that was the only thing different about this. So it's $10.99. Let me go back to the Jergens. The Jergens was $6.99 and there was no coupon. Also, I recently learned about the Jergens is that they have a wet skin one for tanning, which I have never used. I actually almost picked it up, but I did not because I'm like, I feel like that's kind of lazy. Just get out in the sun, but whatever. That's my personal opinion. All right, my last but not least is Nivea. So I feel like that this is my second best. The bottle is almost gone. And it's the Nivea In Shower Body Lotion Nourishing 24, 24 Hours Plus um, Moisture, Lock-In Moisture. So I feel like this is my second best, and here's the reason why. Because this baby gives me all the moisture I need even on my feet, it does suggest do not put this on your feet because they don't want you to, you know, they don't want you to slip and fall, of course, in a shower and hurt yourself. But I put it at the bottom of my feet, more towards the back of my foot, whatever. Um, and I love this. My husband even noticed a difference in my skin. So that was even better. And my husband, like he, he's like a lotion advocate like he puts on lotion every time he gets out of the shower god bless him but anyways he noticed a difference in my skin here's my con about this beauty which i love it because this one is 4.99 it moisturized my skin Here's my one con about this. It is too much of a process. So the first time that I actually used this one, I treated it as if like it was my Jergens. I didn't even read the instructions. I put it on after I got done showering as my, and my skin was still wet. And then I just dried myself off. But I noticed that a lot of moisture wasn't on. So I finally said, okay, maybe I should read the instructions. So I read the instructions and... <laughs> I read the instructions and the instructions said, after you wash your body, you basically put this on like as if you're putting on lotion or putting on more body wash in the shower. And then you rinse it off. That's just too much for me to do in the shower. Like once I get out of the shower, I just want to put the lotion on where I need it and I get out, dry myself off and get out. That's why I like Jergens so much. It may be a little greasy, but I get everything I need as fast as I need it. This one is my second best because of that. And I didn't like that, but I do do the steps that it requires me to do and it works out for me. So I like this one. I will continue to buy it. It's inexpensive and it gives me everything that I need. So overall, go buy these beauties. Let me know what you think and what's your, your beauty experience with these products. All right, I'll talk to y'all later and don't be surprised. You may see this shirt again in another video because I'm knocking out videos today. All right, lovelies, y'all have a wonderful day.